Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for November 1, 2022, the Day of the Dead, the Good Governance Edition. And we begin with that story from the Wall Street Journal as it reports in its tech section that Elon Musk has fired the entire board of Twitter, naming himself as sole director. How's that for good governance, good governance ladies and gentlemen? And all of the execs he fired, he claimed he fired them with cause, so he's not going to pay them a penny of what he owes them, or they are owed, rather, under their severance packages. And uh, he's going to fire three-quarters of the workforce. So that's what happens when you get took over by someone like Elon Musk. Next up, Donald Trump's company, the Donald Trump Company, Uh, has told a New York judge that it does not need a corporate monitor and asked the judge to reject a demand by the state's attorney general to appoint a monitor to oversee its financial practices. Of course, the New York attorney general has accused the Trump organization of staggering fraud. The uh, lawsuit claims that Trump and his children uh, lied to banks and insurers around overvaluing their assets and net worths when looking for money and insurance. The judge, as asked, rather, the New York AG has asked the judge to appoint a watchdog to review financial information that Trump companies gave to accountants. So, he always wanted to be a monitor. Well, now may be your chance. Uh, next up, from the Wall Street Journal Risk and Compliance Journal, Richard Vandefort, reporting that the EU looks to follow the U.S. example on forced labor under the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act by passing its own extraordinarily tough act as well. It's not clear whether the EU Act will uh, shift the burden of proof to employers or companies to prove that their goods were not made with forced labor. But the proposal comes from the European Commission, the EU's executive arm, and it would block goods made with forced labor from being imported into the EU and stop them from being sold if they are found inside the block. So forced labor is getting more play, and companies certainly need to be ready for this. And our final story comes to us uh, from uh, the Wall Street Journal that the SEC is really ramping up its clawbacks, attacks, And the Department of Justice expects companies to go after executives whether or not uh, they have the contractual right to do so. And even if the claims happened simply under the senior exec's watch and they weren't involved. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.